it's funny how everybody's coming out the woodworks because they want and need me to address the pain that they're feeling inside i'm like no i'm not gonna do it if you're watching these videos and you're someone from the past and you feel a type of way, it's because you need to feel a type of way to get the, the parasite and that nasty black gross gunk of a heart out of there and feel the things that you've done. So if I don't say your name, you already know you are who you are because of the pain it makes you feel. That's the point of why today's tower moment is happening because you've been living life like a loser and all I'm doing is here to make you a winner. So the final set of people that I will address are my ex-cousins. Hi. The fact that you guys let theme number one and theme number two play you that's something like y'all should feel ridiculously stupid because if I let y'all know what they said about y'all especially after we were all in Nigeria for my godfather's funeral if I let y'all know what each one of y'all about what they said about N and B and C's mom because she was outcasted from her own husband's wedding. Ooh, if I got into that dirt. If I got into that dirt. <laughs> but I'm not going to be like that. Because I want y'all to discuss it amongst each other. I want I wanted to get that messy. I want y'all to start stop projecting and throwing daggers at me and project and throw them at each other. So the first cousin that I'm going to address, her name starts with the W. Hi, jealous bitch. There's nothing good, so I'm not even going to ask you. I didn't know you. We, we met in Nigeria. And then you started throwing subliminals on the internet that theme one and theme number two made sure to let me know. And then you go in the group chat and post, oh my God, look at my fashion line. This uh, You're mad because you came to America and I didn't help you? Why would I help you? I am not the pack meal of the family. I know y'all tried to make me out to be the shadow, but that's not me. Theme number two had a lot of question things to say about you when you showed up at NYU. Did she ever tell you that? No, she would never tell you that. Theme number one and theme number two were the ones who let me know. Oh my God, W um, posted a pic of her hair with half pink braids and half blue braids and she was talking about you because you had blue braids and your little caption on the picture was like I wouldn't just do blue because that's so dull come on man I know the apple doesn't fall far from the tree and thank god the tree that I came from has nothing to do with the Ezude last name by blood but still she's going <laughs> come on I really thought but I really overestimated you guys that because we've all been educated in civilized nations that we wouldn't be about this weird stuff. But here we are about this weird stuff. To C, B, and N, hi, N. I called you for help not too long ago. I know you heard about the fact that they evicted me. I'm still in my room though because their mouth is full of shit. Nothing they do they mean because they don't have the gusto to back it up. I called you. Rather than help me, you went and discussed it with whoever you discussed it with, turned off your Wi-Fi so I couldn't get in contact with you again, and then had the audacity to text me, I'm sorry, I hope everything will be okay. I hope you feel it in your heart the L decision that you made. B, I was the only blood related to you outside of your family that gave a fuck about your wedding. The only one who defended you, who rode for you, despite the fact that everybody that is an Ezude is a racist bigot. It was me. But you you forgot all the times I stood in the gym and talked to you for two, three hours excited that you finally got to leave that house. 
that you finally dropped the, the responsibility that your older siblings put on you. I did that. That was me. But you forgot it once thing one and thing number two came and told you lies. And then on top of that, thing number two has the audacity to say, she's a big girl. She's, a, she's ready to fight. She's ready to fight. That's what they were trying to do. They were trying to get y'all to fight me. A girl, I met your wife. I met her and I know she was intimidated by me. She said, what's your story? All haughty and shit. I don't want my cousin. I know everybody has this weird thing about him, but he's my cousin, all right? A cousin that I really did like. I really did like you guys, CB, and, and I really did. I had hope in our relationship. But after C rejected me when I was crying on the phone and then had the audacity to show up at his mom's house with all his Ezude male toxic projections. No, y'all lost every single cousin, not just you three, every single cousin I have lost any iota of a thought of respect, even on the Elodi Bay side. My three cousins, O, G, and N. The oldest cousins. And gossiping. I'm, I'm concerned. She's talking about being a lesbian. I'm concerned. Oh. The amount of love I show for you and your husband. The way I rode for you and your husband. Despite all the weirdo ass such shit that he was implying in the background. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call that out. <laughs> When I called you and told you things about the woman that gave birth to me, you said, oh, no, I don't want to hear that. Oh, stop the conversation, whatever. And I respectfully dipped out and decided I would never talk to you ever again. You have the audacity to go to that woman and ask her about me each and every time out of guilt. And then G over there pretending like nothing happened. That's not what cousins do. And then my other cousin, N, over there defending his daddy. I know things about you that could destroy your life. But why would I do that? Because I'd rather life play out situations between you and your sister. So with that being said, to conclude this, the narrative, I was never the antagonist. Y'all were. When you poke the bear continuously over and over and over again, the bear will retaliate. And because I'm a bear, I don't really have to do much but just swap my paw, you guys, to draw some blood. But I suggest... You turn your eyes to the people who pulled you into this.